there is a point to note why one should have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. There is a point to note why one should have a relationship with um, with the Holy Spirit. All right. So Joseph explains to them. Um, Joseph explains to them, and he say to them. Um, interpretations belongs to God. Interpretations belongs to God. Joseph had to explain to them that don't you not know that interpretations belongs to God. So they had to understand that interpretation belongs to God. So that is what happens that they woke up, they were said. So it was the on, on the aspect of the emotions, all right? It was on the aspect of the emotions that was affected there. So the Bible says that, the Bible says that in that very same time or in that very same, um, in that uh, very same dream, they were they, when 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 they were told the Bible says that they told to Joseph at uh, their dream the dream that they had dreamt they had to tell him to say this the dream that they had dreamt and this is how these men uh, dreamt their dreams uh, so they said to him we have each dreamt distinct dreams and there is no one to interpret them and Joseph dreams belongs to God on verse eight verse nine so that chief Kabira told his dream to Joseph and said. In my dream, all right, that chief Kabera said to in my said to him in my dream, there was there was a grape vine in front of me, and on the vine we were three, there were three branches. As soon as they budded, it its blossom burst open and cluster produced ripe grapes into rapid succession. Now Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup. Then I placed the cup into Pharaoh's hand. All right. So we want to get to interpret uh, as as to how Joseph interpreted the dreams of these uh, three men, of these uh, two men. So. The first man who dreamt a dream that we are going to break down was a was a cup bearer. All right, the first man he was a cup bearer. He was a cup bearer. What is a cup bearer? The one who tests the wine of a king before the king tests. So, the cup bearer. This is what he said. You look at it uh, from verse number from verse number nine. All right, so. The cup bearer. Many have prayed, I need a cup bearer, but you understand what a cup bearer is. The, the cup bearer said, In my dream, we were in front of a grape vine. All right. So they were in front You remember that a grape vine is the one that uh, produces uh, grapes. They saw they were in front of a grape vine. And, and on the vine, there were three branches. All right, so number one, they were in front of a grape vine. Number two, there were three branches, all right? So there were three branches on the grapevine. There were three branches, and the three branches budded. All right. So these three branches, they what? They budded. You know, when it starts to grow those fruits, that is what we are saying that uh, they budded. So the three branches budded. All right. And its blossom burst open in cluster to be ripe. All right. So they became all 
All right, so they became what? They became ripe. They became ripe. The three branches became budded, and after that they became ripe. And the Bible says that now Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. Remember, he's a cup bearer. All right. Pharaoh's cup in my hands. Pharaoh's cup was in my hands. So Pharaoh's cup was in my hands. And I took the grapes, number four, took the grapes, and squeezed, all right? So Pharaoh's cup was in my hands, and I took the grapes, and when I took the grapes, I squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and I placed the cup into Pharaoh's hands. All right? So the, the fifth thing is that I placed the cup placed the cup into Pharaoh's hands <laughs> all right so i placed the cup into pharaoh's hands then joseph said to him all right so joseph is now giving him the interpretation so joseph said to him this is the interpretation the three branches represent three days so these three branches Represented what? Three days. The three branches represented three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up his head to present you in public and restore you to the positions. All right? So when, when he put uh, Pharaoh's cup was in my hands, all right? That's when he said that you uh, you restore. Restore your position right there. Within those three days, he will restore your position. Within these three days, he will lift up his head, restore your position, and you again put Pharaoh's cup in his hands just as you did when you were his cup bearers. All right? And the other thing he says, think of me. Think of me. For in the fact I was taken stolen from my father's land of the Hebrews and stuff. So when you look at this uh, dream, you would realize that this was a dream of somebody else. And we noted certain things that in the dream, there are things that you need to note, all right? You need to note that uh, that the guy, the cabera, he dreamt himself in the dream. All right, the guy dreamt himself in the dream. The guy dreamt himself in the dream. So. Dreaming himself in the dream, it's a sign that it's a message that is personally coming to him. There are dreams that you dream that dream other people. But the fact that he dreamt himself in the dream, all right, shows you that it's a what? Personal message. The fact that he dreamt himself in the dream, so it's a personal message. So when he dreamt in front of the vine, the vine uh, was, was like the one where he prepared. So he saw the vine. The Bible says that there were three branches. And we have been explained to that these three branches 
actually from this dream, not from every dream, represented three days. All right. And the cup that he was holding, this was his cup bearer. So the cup that he was holding, this was a position. All right. This was his what? Position. The responsibility that he already had, how he was working. And putting pharaohs in his hands, he was being restored now to be serving pharaoh. All right. So serving and squeeze the grapes, we all know this one, that it's what? Service. Service. He was now serving uh, and placing in Pharaoh's hands. Uh, pl he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hands. This is that he was now trusted again. All right. He was now trusted again with Pharaoh. So when you look at this dream, someone now who is just coming from wherever they are coming from, may not really catch or understand this dream because someone is dreaming in front of the vineyard. Then the next thing, so you are dreaming, there are three branches, they budded, they become ripe there and there. And the next thing, you are standing in front of Pharaoh. Someone might think it's another dream. Someone might think they are dreaming this dream because it's the job that they are doing. So there is a connection with what we are talking about that maybe they think is their mind. Maybe they will think it's their mind. They will see the vineyard. Someone might say, ah, it is the vineyard. Because remember, when we speak about the <laughs> when we speak about the vineyard, someone will say it is the Holy Spirit because we all know that wine is the Holy Spirit. So it, it, it would differ from which from which place is uh and what is familiar, what, what this person is familiar with. This person, the only relation, all right, the only relation. relation with grapes was work all right and remember that in his work he was not a farmer In his work, he was not what? A farmer. Where he was working, this man was not a farmer. So the only connection or relation he had with, he, the only connection or relation he had with, uh, he had with, 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 with dreams was only on the aspect of, um, on, on him being a what? A cup bearer. Up, bearer. All right. You are just a cup bearer. So that is the only relation. So we, we need to see most of the times on the relation. All right. Like what we said. God speaks speaks in familiar ways he has to speak to you in ways that you understand or that you are familiar to all right so that was the man who dreamt their dream as uh, who dreamt their dream as um, as as the kabira then we are gonna look at the dream that the the man who was a who was a baker dreamt so that we we'll get to a conclusion as we get bit by bit from men understanding uh, the raw of dreams and also how the how you get to familiarize with your own uh, dreams. So let us go back to the book of um, Genesis, chapter number fourteen. Let us go back to the book of Genesis, chapter number fourteen. Praise God. 
Praise God. All right. So, we go back on verse number 16. Go back to Genesis 40, verse 16. Genesis chapter 40, verse 16. Genesis 40 from verse 16. And the Bible says that um, and the chief baker, all right, so here we are talking about the chief baker. We are talking or communicating about the chief baker. And the chief baker so the interpretation of the dream was good. He said to Joseph, I also, so it's only when he saw that this guy who has been interpreted, his inter, the interpretation of his dream was good. So he said, let me also bring my own because you, you interpreted good for this uh, other guy. So he said, I dreamt in my dream there were three cake baskets, all right? So, the word three cake baskets. There were three cake baskets on my head. All right, so we don't put a full stop there. On my head. So they were on his head and on the top of the basket, there were some all sorts of bagged food. So it was the cake, uh, three cakes, and uh, on the top, there were all sorts of bagged, bagged foods. I believe there were muffins in those days. <laughs> of baked foods uh, for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating these foods out of the baskets on my head. Now, birds were eating the food. All right. Birds were eating the food from basket, from the basket on his head. So, on his head, on his head, um, Joseph answered in the interpretation. All right? So, Let's get to the interpretation of that. So Joseph answered in the interpretation, and uh, this is how Joseph answered. That the three baskets represent three days, the three cakes. All right, what is it? Let's, let's look at it. The three baskets represents, um, represents three days, all right? So, three baskets, three baskets is equals to three days. So, these three cake baskets, all right, they are representing three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up his head and hang you on a tree. So remember, the birds were eating the food that was on top of his head. So it means his work was in jeopardy on top of his head. So focus on his head. Joseph is saying that um, what Pharaoh would do is 
Here we go. Hang your head on a tree. You hang your head on a tree. The birds, it means his job was being uh, was being stolen right there. So you hang your head on a tree and you also, you will not so much be given a burial, but the birds will eat flesh from you. So this this eating this eating of birds eating the food it was not just on him now look at this the birds are eating the food on his head but on this aspect the bible is saying that uh joseph is interpreting he said birds will eat your body we should not want to go much because most of the times we understand that uh, this was now all sorts of food. Maybe let me go back so that you understand. Um, the Bible says that they were begged and all, and but the beds of prey were eating these foods. All right, not the cakes. The cakes represents his job, which is not restored the cake is his job as a baker but all sorts of food now it is him because joseph is telling that the birds will eat your body and when you read on verse 17 right there all right on verse 17 the bible is telling us that the birds were what the birds were the birds were eating all sorts of food that were on his head. So in the present now the third day, which was the Pharaoh's birthday, he released the two men from prison and he made a priest his servants and lift up his head and the and the chief cup bearer and the chief uh, baker that is presented them into the public among the servants. He restored the cup bearer from his office and um the the cup bearer once again put uh, the cup into Pharaoh's hands, but Pharaoh hanged the, the baker as Joseph had predicted or as Joseph had prophesied or as Joseph would have spoken. So when you look at these dreams, you will begin to understand the power of interpretation. You begin to understand the power of interpretation. It was in the three days that Pharaoh had also a dream. So the significance, the significance of understanding uh understanding events also is important the significance of understanding events also is important all right so when when you look at this when you look at this you you will you will get to understand why must men or why must people get to a place where they understand dreams? Why must men, why must people get to a place where they understand dreams? These are questions you should ask yourself. Why should I get to understand when God speaks? Why should I get to have understanding when God speaks? One of the things or one of the most scary things about um about, about dreams is dreams are a little bit dreams are a little bit different from uh dreams are a little bit different from um from visions dreams are different from visions when we speak in most cases about visions visions they show you a scenario visions they show you a situ in which one can pray about as as we are going to talk about some people's visions you understand why visions and trances are so much are uh, so because it's all about astral projection but these dreams these dreams are so significant because because dreams Dreams 
scary messages. Someone will say, even visions carry messages. But what kind of messages are carried uh, by dreams? In most cases, you would understand that when God speaks to men through dreams, most of the things that come in the dreams, you can't change them. All right? So, so they prepare you All right, why do they prepare you? Future events. So the dreams will prepare you for future events. All right, for future events. What already has been said in what? In future event in God's calendar future events that will be in God's future events that will already be uh, in God's calendar all right in God's calendar so because there are messages all right do not ignore Do not ignore dreams. Even if they seem to be um, dreams you don't really understand. This is my message to you. Don't ignore dreams. Don't ignore dreams. As long as God is communicating or speaking to you in some way, never ignore. Don't ignore the dream. Because most of the times, even if you ignore it, it will happen. The reason is God is trying to prepare you so that either you can pray or you can prepare in a way over what is to come all right sometimes you pre you, you you prepare yourself in making sure that you are strong enough most of the things that have happened in your life they've been conveyed through the medium of dreams but some of the times we do not uh, we we do not get it because we um when the dream comes sometimes it is because um when the dream comes sometimes it is because we we get to be confused all right because All right, because there is that dream. You have dreamed the dream and the dream is yours. All right, but you see yourself uh, confused. All right, you see yourself confused, frustrated. Why? Because in most of the cases, in as much as the dream has come, and you know that inside the dream there is a, a message. So this is what, what will frustrate you. You know that in the dream there is a message. But the problem is um, what causes you to be frustrated and confused is because you have no interpretation. No interpretation. Why? Because in as much as there is a message and you are looking for interpretation, the dream will be having symbols. And this is what confuses many people the most here on symbols. This man saw beds, all right? So you can imagine that is where we talk about beds because this, this matters in dreams colors, all right? These are some symbols that can come in dreams where it's about what you are wearing, uh, the place you are, and all. All those things, they determine the interpretation of the dream. And in most cases, people get to confuse that. But one of the things that should give you comfort is that all dreams have got uh, messages, dreams that will be coming from God. And always check.
familiar things in the dream. Every dream that you dream, always check what are the familiar things that uh, that come in in those dreams. I believe that in as much as we, we have gone through this, somebody has gained understanding. And uh, as we'll be going forth, I believe that you we are now getting to a place where you are understanding uh, where dreams come from and how dreams uh, come to, to.